All right, we're in the outback of OPBR here, and we're uh, out here looking for some wild roaches. And oh crikey, mate, there's one right now. Oh god, he hit me with one of his attacks right there. Skill one, doing fuck all for damage, mate. He's charging up his skill two. We're trying to dodge into that, but fuck all for damage once again, mate. And here we go. We're gonna jump right in here, hit him with the electric electric slide right there, and we're gonna try to stick our thumb up his butthole. Yeah, we're gonna get that thumb right up his battle, touch that prostate. God damn it, I've never seen a beat down on a Roger like this before. Crikey. Anyways, enough for uh, the Roger hunting. Not really though. This video is a uh, gonna be a showcase on some characters that can actually counter Roger. And by golly, we got full Rogers over there. Crikey, mate. Uh, anyways, enough with the crocodile hunter bullshit. But uh, we're gonna be doing a little uh, series I like to call uh, the Power Couples. And uh, this is going to just be me showcasing, uh, you know, characters that I like to play together that, you know, are typically go hand in hand in the series uh, or the uh, show rather, uh, or manga, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but anyways, we got a fucking nightmare of a team on the other side here. Four fucking Rogers. Jesus Christ! I mean, we all know how uh, <laughs> shitty it is to fight one of these guys, especially when you're not in your treasure area. Uh, but. I'm running double green, and I feel like green is king right now, especially uh, green defenders. And uh, fuck, it's unfortunate that we uh, that guy got knocked down there. We would have fucking stuffed that thumbs up his butthole. Uh, but anyways, these Rogers are, uh, you know, they do hit like a motherfucker. But luckily, Katakuri does ma uh, massive damage reduction against attackers. Not only that, he's got the grand line tag, so uh, you know he's doing really well against greens. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't really do anything about that right there. We're almost 5 0 these fuckers, by the way, which is insanity, considering, like, the lineup that you just saw. That's one fucking gnarly barbershop quartet, one that you'd never want to see or hear. Uh, but anyways, we got uh, Big Mom here as well. EX Big Mom does really well against uh, Roger, as you saw at the beginning there. Um, I, I don't know what the fuck it is with Roger. <laughs> like, I feel like it's hit or miss with his attacks. Like, sometimes you can hit him multiple times and it'll heal him. Sometimes it won't. Uh, but anyways, I'm running fucking, uh, you know, three damage reduction medals on this big mom. And, uh, they're not the typical ones where I would use, like, if you are in your treasure area. These ones are just if your HP is above 70%. So it kind of supplements, uh, that... And it gives me the freedom to run around because if you didn't know, this EX big or EX big, this big mom is EX in my mind. But uh, it gives big mom the freedom to roam around and crush Rojas, uh, even if they're not inside of their treasure area. Now that big mom's pissed for some reason. I kind of get it. Uh, you know, they got a four team of team of four Rogers and they're getting rolled right now. It's kind of crazy. You know, things might turn around, which they usually do. So. Um, but the thing about this big mom is if her HP is below 90%, she loses basically all of that damage reduction. But half the time, if you're above it, um, you're pretty much good to go. Like, Roger doesn't normally do much damage to her. Unfortunately, right there, we did have our HP below the 90% threshold. So, uh, fuck, that Roger hit us outside of our treasure area, which is not good for this category either, because he needs to be in his treasure. We did just fucking hit two of these cocksuckers, though. And they are making a dramatic comeback, uh, which is a little bit concerning. It would be nice if we uh, got, you know, clutched this one out. We do got team boost, though, so let's just run in here and start fucking smashing some fools. Uh, I popped out my uh, little lightning cloud there, the Zeus, and uh, definitely killed that Rayleigh. That Rayleigh stood zero chance. Uh, we are going to grab this uh, treasure here as well. <coughs> we got Oden on the, the fucking spot right now, holding it down. Rayleigh cannot hurt Big Mom, doesn't matter what you do. So uh, Rayleigh is not a threat. Unfortunately, uh, Zoro is though, because he actually hits damn hard, especially with that New World trait and all those crits. Uh, and that's a fucking dub, a big fat dub against four Rogers. Four wild Rogers, by golly crikey. Uh, but, you know, give it up to the big uh, big dog right there. Um, who was it, the Snake Man? I don't, I don't know what his name was. But uh, these, are, these are big leagues, by the way. We're, we're talking about like five, 6,000 lead points. Some high ass numbers here, top rank type shit. Not really top ranks, but like top 1,000. So I guess, you know, give or take, you're not going to be seeing any different people from, you know, five to 6,000 league score than you would at like 20,000. So, um, anyways, doing my typical thang thang. Going to grab that uh, flag right there. The teams are looking almost symmetrical. We got one guy who thought he was fucking hot shit and decided to pick Oden, which, again, for me, I don't know why I feel Oden is much more threatening. Just because he's fucking so annoying when he grabs that flag and it's you know you get those people who just decide to try to wail on him when knowing that you can knock him out of the flag but anyways just a bunch of silliness we're gonna go into the middle here 
and just start fucking laying the beats down on these fools. Uh, fucking all these Roger attacks going around. Like, that was like six in the past fucking 30 seconds. This guy's literally uh, one of the most annoying to fight. I'm ha not having too much of an issue, however. So, um, you know, we just adapt. Luckily, I boosted all my green units back in the day. I fucking loved using green, even through the red mana. So, I'm sitting nice right now. Uh, we are under our HP threshold for most of our damage reduction here, so we're not going to be uh, surviving that one. No siree, Bob. Uh, but we, who was that? Viet Farm? Viet Farm? I don't know. <laughs> we're bringing in Big Mama though, and she's about to give this Katakuri a little spanking. Um, probably going to knock them off and in, like into that flag area, which is uh, nice. You know, it's good to just knock them out, even if they, uh, you know, or good to knock them out of the treasure regardless of if they get it or not. Hit him with that fucking lightning and uh, get this little meat and then punch his little ass to death. Um, we do end up getting it though, so that was kind of nice. Roger here on support, yeah. Uh, we do got the 90% HP. Now watch this shit. Again, does fucking no damage at all. She's super tanky, especially against greens. Uh, especially against the one-shot type of green characters, I should say. Uh, EX Big Mom could be a problem. Uh, we did actually uh, time that properly, so that's kind of shitty, but... You know, it is what it is. Uh, we are going to get uh, wiped out there, just kind of, you know, laying on our blubbery back. Imagine if the fish came and attacked us now, that would be hot. <laughs> Luckily, we're on the other side, actually, and you know what? If I had my dodge, I would go and get that uh, little shawarma plate. You know, Big Mom gets down. She's a hungry gal. Um, but, you know, this fucking Blackbeard got us. He had the little uh, plate, so, you know, she was doing crazy damage. Um, Luckily our Zeus kind of stays out when we die. That's one good thing about this big mom, because it could really be your saving grace if that happens. Um, we are going to switch back into Katakuri though and kind of lay some beats down. Um, so, <clears throat> there's a lot more characters I can recommend for fighting like in this current meta, even some of the older ones. Like, V1 Moria, I know he's fucking slow as ass molasses. Ass molasses. He's slow as ass molasses. And, um... You know, that's it doesn't really matter because his skill one hits really hard. His skill two, or what? No, his skill two hits really hard. The brick bat. Uh, I will be showcasing him eventually in the future in one of my power couple series. Um, he does really well because every time your teammates die, he gets buffed and heals. So, you know, knowing Rogers slaughtering everybody on the field, he's going to be healing like crazy. He's also going to be getting defense, and um, you know, he's quite tanky in and himself. So. You know, not too bad right there. Uh, these are both level 100s. I wanted to showcase them individually, but I figured I'll just release them on my uh, power couples because, you know, I've already done a showcase on both of these units, but I may as well put them together and show you the power of the mama and son. We got the ultimate mama's boy, and uh, you know how big mom gets down. She's the fucking queen. I eat those cheeks for lunch, and, uh, you know, not much else to say about that. One bad thing I could say about Katakuri is he does... Uh, boost Roger's defense when you hit him with his skill too, uh, but it doesn't really fucking matter. I mean, fuck defense, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, showcase here. If you guys like the video and want to see more of these power couples, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.